I'm going to do random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong. If you're new to Mahjong, this is the easiest version to learn. Some say it's a lot like Remy. You need to have four blocks in a pair. The blocks can be three in a sequence, three of a kind, or four of a kind. The total composition of your hand will determine your score. Look for a link in the video description below so you can download this player reference and follow along. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do four random pulls, one for each wind of the round, starting with East Round. I'm going to roll these dice just to determine which seat we're in for the exercise. Player one, player two, player three, player four. I rolled a seven. That's going to be player three. So we are going to be player three also known as West, and it is East Round. I will get 13 tiles. We have a flower, four flower. The number corresponds to your seat. We're player three. This is a four flower, so we won't get score for that, but we can get a replacement tile. So for these tiles, I probably would try for a half flesh and discard these offsuit tiles. We do have a potential chow here or here. We do have single honors. When you have number tiles, two through eight, you cannot use singles. They have to be in pairs or pungs. And since there's four of every tile, you could also have kongs. I think I would discard these first. Hold the six, seven, because this is actually a potential chow. Just in case more chow tiles come in, I would start by discarding here and try for a half flush. Half flush is three fawn. So if you're playing at a table with a minimum of three fawn, you could go for that half flesh. A lot of work would have to be done though because we would need to pair up and pung. That was east round. Now we're gonna do south round. This time we're going to be player one. One, two, three, four, five. So where the dealer will get 14 tiles this time. Right now we have no flowers. That's actually a fawn. No flowers is a fawn, but the minute you draw a flower, that goes away. So I would not count on that. For these tiles, we have a pair here. Otherwise, we have chow potential here, here, and here. I probably would play all chow and discard these single honors and play with number tiles. We could hold this as a pair, chow here, here, and here. We would need more chow tiles here. So I would draw and keep number tiles, discard honors, try for all chow. If I were playing at a point minimum table, like a three fawn table, where you have to have three fawn to win, I probably would instead keep the honors and pick a suit. I don't know why I had those split up like that. There's a potential chow. Pair, potential chow, potential chow. One, two, let's see, one, two, three. We need a chow potential here. There's a pair. We have equal number of cracks and dots. I probably 
would discard the three BAM and see what comes in pick by pick and pick a suit and play a half flesh if we were playing at a three fawn minimum. Because all chow is not enough. All chow is only one fawn. No flowers is one fawn, so that's two. That would not be enough. So dis hard decisions would have to be made since we have equal numbers. But if we're playing at a zero fawn table, chicken hand table is what I call it, we could chow right here, here, and here. Hopefully draw in some tiles for here or here and play all three in a sequence. And that would be our pair. We are now going to do west round. This time we're going to be in north seat. We're in west seat, or west round north seat. West round north seat. We have a pair of east. This will not bring us score because it is the west round and we're in north seat. So even if we pung, we would not get score for that. Dragons can give you some value if you pair up and pung. I think what I would probably do here is play BAMs if I'm playing at a three fawn table. BAMs with honors, winds and dragons. We could chow, chow, pung. We need a lot more tiles though, discard these. If we are playing at a chicken hand table, I would probably play all chow. Discard these, hold this for my pair. Chow, chow, chow or chow here. We're still short a potential chow. You need four blocks and a pair. This could be our pair and then we have one, two, three potential chows or blocks. So we have one, two, three, four of the five. So we would need help here. Another chow in here. Set up nicely for all chow. Not so much for a three fawn table though. We'd have to get rid of all these for a bigger hand. Either these or these. I picked BAMs because we have two potential chows. Here we only have one, either the 7-9 or the 6-7. And then this is isolated, as is the 5. That's why I went with the BAMs. Chow Chow Pung. We need more BAMs or pair up these dragons. We are going to do north round. This time, let's say we are eight, nine, 10, 11, west. We're going to be in west seat. We are in west seat. We have a four flower, so we won't get score for that. Got a one bam. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I would try for 13 orphans. Discard this first. Hold cracks just in case we don't get the tiles we want. 13 orphans is a 10 fawn hand. One of each dragon, one of each wind, one of each one and nine, any tile paired. It's a long shot. Either that or play half flesh. I would discard this, see what comes in. If we keep drawing 
honors and terminals. Terminals are ones and nines. I would try for 13 orphans. That is an exciting hand to play. If you're new to Mahjong, start with Hong Kong old style because it has simplified scoring. All you need is a set of tiles and a player reference. On the back is instructions for how to play and on the inside is the scoring. One side has the basic components with value. The other side has special hands that have names to them. Makes it kind of fun. And then down here is the payout. Everything that you need is right here. And of course, a set of tiles. I'll have a link in the video description below if you need a set of tiles. It really is a lot of fun to play. If you have a party, it makes a great conversation piece. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.